good morning, everybody. We're continuing today in our readings in the book of Acts, and we're in the last part of, of chapter 9. Yesterday, we read about the Apostle Paul. Uh, actually, he was Saul then, and uh, he was actually killing Christians, and Jesus, the ascended Jesus, appeared to him in a bright light on the road to Damascus. And of course, we know that that changed his life forever. He became a a, a follower of Jesus and, and an extraordinary, powerful witness to the resurrected Jesus. Now, in today's readings, we read about two more miracles that, that take place. And uh, the first one, uh, both of them have to do with Peter. Peter is traveling and he is in the town called Lydda, and it's on the, it's in Israel close to the Mediterranean Sea. And, uh, uh, we, we read this from, uh, verse 33. It says, there he met a man named Aeneas who had been paralyzed and bedridden for eight years. Uh, Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up, roll up your sleeping mat. And he was healed instantly. And the whole population of Lydda and Sharon saw Aeneas walking around and they turned to the Lord. See how it says that through this miracle, many, many people turned to believe in Jesus. Now, in our next reading, we, we read another miracle. Uh, and this time, it's the followers of Jesus in a nearby town named Joppa, uh, more towards the Mediterranean coast. And they, they have a, a real need in that one of their fellow believers, a lady by the name of Tabitha, who is known for doing good deeds and helping the poor, ha, falls ill and she eventually dies. And they hear of what, what had happened in Lydda. And so they beg Peter to come. And Peter does come. And it says that he kneels behind, beside Tabitha and uh, he prays for her. And we read that by the power of Jesus, Tabitha's eyes open up and she sits up and she's alive. And verse 42 says, the news spread throughout the whole town and many people believed in the Lord. Now, I want you to listen to what uh, Pastor John Piper says uh, about the book of Acts. He says, one of the messages of the book of Acts is that Jesus Christ is not dead and he is not distant and he is not silent and he is not weak and he is not uninterested in the world and the progress of his mission and in your life. He is alive and what he began to do in his earthly life, he is continuing to do. He is full of surprises for churches, for nations, for families, and for individual people. You see, I think what he's saying is exactly what Luke is saying in Acts is, is that God is still working to point people to Jesus. I can think of many people, I've Trevor and Greg and Bill and many others who may not have had as dramatic of, of a, uh, an event as the, uh, the bright light on the road to Damascus or a healing like Aeneas, but God still through others and, and through many different means got a hold of their lives and changed them from a, a life where they were pretty much living for themselves. And now they're followers of sold out followers of, of Jesus. God is still touching lives that way, and he can touch yours if that's something that, that you're not a follower of Jesus. And of course, I still believe God still heals too. He uses lots of different methods in our day. He uses medical professionals and hospitals and, 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 and medicines. He uses rehab centers and 12-step programs. He, he heals bodies. He, he heals our memories. He heals marriages, he heals relationships, he heals unemployment and our finances, and, and he heals wayward children and friends who are seem like they're headed for uh, hopelessness. And, but he calls us to pray, and he calls us to listen, and listen to his voice, and, and then trust him for the results. Remember, Jesus has called us to be a light, to reflect the light that he's given us to the rest of the world. And he uses our prayers, he uses our acts of kindness, our words of hope, and our, our stories of how God is, God is working in our lives. And remember, it's our part to take the initiative to, to share the good news of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. 
and then we leave the results to him. And as John Piper says, he is full of surprises. Go and have an amazing day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.